Alright guys, welcome to another video and in this video, I want to show you how to automatically calculate the cost of sticker you're going to need and the amount of sticker in price that it's going to cost per any given size that you're given. I'll give you an example. Let's say a customer comes to your shop and he says he wants to print 3x3 three three inch sticker. The conventional way we do it would be that you come to this place, you press 3 inches and then here you press 3 inches. And then you ask the customer how many pieces does he want. Let's say he says he wants 400 pieces. Great, so you come to this place and then you start manually laying that. Right? The first question you're going to ask yourself is what is the size of material you're going to use? So let's say the size of material you're using is 48 inches wide and then you press enter and then you come here and centralize this guy and then you begin to duplicate this and then you duplicate all the way down like that and then you select on top of this and then you get the size that you want so this is 36 by 48 now in this video i'm going to show you how to automatically calculate that without having to do all of this long process so here is it but before we continue i want you to hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn on your notification bell so that youtube algorithm can recommend us to other people and then we can be of benefit to them as well let's get started so first you go to the link in the description and then you download this corel draw macro and then you install it the installation instructions is already contained in this video so you can download it and then come to this video and then look at how you can install it i'll show you how to install it at the end of this video all right so double click on this form when you have it installed and then let's say what you're doing is four inches so you say width is four inches and then the height is four inches the quantity let's say 400 pieces and then maybe the price per square feet i don't know what it is in your country but in my country it's about 350 naira per square feet if it's print and cut in some places it's 450 whatever it is just put the value in this box in my case i'll put 350 and then the material width is or what is the size of material you're using is it four feet is it five feet is it six feet all these values here are calculated in inches so you have to do that calculation from feet to inches so let's say it is 48 inches which is what you call four feet sticker so you put 48 here and then you press calculate now first and foremost it's going to tell you the amount of material you're going to need it says you're going to need 48 by 150 inches that comes to about four feet by 13 to 14 feet thereabout it tells you it's about 50 square meters you're going to need to print that and then it tells you the total cost 17,500 it's currently in dollars because we have a general audience so if you say naira it might not be easily understandable to anyone but you can easily convert this to your own currency so it says 17,500 us dollars that's what it's going to cost all right so then you press so you take your pen and a paper you write this down because that's basically all you need so and you don't so this is generous for you you don't have to do all of that stress to find out maybe lay and all of that it just gives it to you on the fly and when you click OK, it's going to start building. It's going to start building the tiles for you, which is what you would have built here, and it does that for you automatically. And by the time it's done building it, it might take a little bit of time, maybe about a minute or a minute and a half. It's going to build all of that for you, and then you'll see the exact layout uh, of your design. After a while, it builds the page for you, and then it shows you a preview of what it has been building for you. It normally takes about a minute like i said a minute and a half and then you have that building the truth is you don't really need this but it's just a layout to show you what to do you, you can even skip it if you want and then once it's built it like this for you if you have other jobs to process like that you can just come back here and say maybe two inches by two inches uh let's say you this time around you 100 pieces and then price remains 350 per square feet and then you're still using a four feet so you click calculate it's going to tell you the price in this place now it tells you a thousand four hundred dollars if it was naira it's going to be a thousand four hundred naira uh, and then it tells you you're going to need four feet by 12 inches that's all you're going to need if you needed 100 pieces of two by two inch stickers and then you click ok once you click ok it's going to try to build it you know from the scratch once again 
and when it's done with that building which shouldn't take a very long time in this case because it's small uh, then it's going to delete what was currently laid out in the page for you and then it'll give you another set so it's a filter for you you can do the manual counting to confirm you have one two three four five and then you have 20 stack i can tell if i have 20 stack by just clicking close here and then selecting on top of this and then you see somewhere here you have 20 stack right so 20 by 5 that gives you 100 like that so that's pretty much how this side works so the next part of this video is how do you get the software like i said go into the video description you see a link to download the file follow the link download the file when you download the file you should find any folder that suits you uh, in my case i have it in the folder called paperflow paperflow.gmf in whatever folder you have it let's say it's downloads folder you right click on the folder and then you copy the file rather when you copy the file you're going to look for this specific place in your system so you go to this pc you're expecting to find the users folder in the users folder I'm going to look for the name in my case now is richard black in your case it might be something else so you open richard black whatever it is in your system and then you're looking for the folder called app data in some cases you may not have the app data showing and see that the app data is currently grayed out which means it's ghosted it's part of the folders in your windows operating system that you're not supposed to see so it's always hidden so in this part of the video i'm going to show you how to unhide that video uh, that that folder if you click on this three button this is windows 11 if your system is windows 10 it might be slightly different but you come to this place click here and then you're going to find options when you open options you see a tab aside from the general tab here called view you click on view and you make sure that show hidden files and folders are selected and you uncheck hide extension from file known file types and then you click so you select this one and then you make sure that this particular file is unchecked if it is checked like this before uncheck it and then you press apply and then you press ok then you'll find the app data folder grayed out like this now you can open app data folder once you're in the app data folder you're looking for a folder called roaming open roaming when you open roaming you're looking for the corel folder this app was currently built with corel x7 so it might be slightly different in your own end uh if it doesn't work in any of the uh, corel versions that you have you might have to install corel x7 so you open corel x7 you're looking for a folder called draw open draw and then you're looking for a folder called gms click on gms and then you right click and paste paper flow into that folder and then you have it like this and once you do that then you come to coral draw and then you go to tools you're looking for macros under macros you ask for macro manager on the macro manager you're going to see these files under paper flow if you had your coral draw open before you copied it into that folder you need to close your coral draw and then open it again so that it can load paper flow for you so once it does, we need to do one quick thing before we run this application. You right click here, you click edit. When you go to edit, you go to the code base and then you come to this place, you say tools and click on references. Under references, you want to make sure that Corel 17.2 type library is selected here. If you don't select it, you're going to be having type mismatch. So once it's selected, you press OK and then you can close this place up. Once you close it up, then you can come to this place and then run the software. When you do run the software, you can then come to this place and say 2 inch by 2 inch. I need 50 pieces of 2 by 2 inch stickers or banner, depending on what you need to use it for. And then uh, what it's going to ask you what's the price per square feet? You say 350 per square feet. And then the material width is 48. And then you press calculate straight away it's going to tell you the price 933 dollars or naira or whatever it is in your country you click ok and then it's going to proceed to build the layout for you this is just an added feature that probably doesn't do anything 
it's just like I said, you can just close it away and have it done. What this does for you is that it simplifies your having to crack your brain or whether you're going to need 4 by 2 feet or 4 by 3 feet and all of that, which is not necessary. You can just skip that process by using the software to simplify your life. If this has helped you, I want you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on your notification bell, and then you know drop a comment for us. Uh, whichever way you want us to take this project and make it even more complex than this, you can let us know. If this helps you, you can let us know. Uh, join our membership. This software, for instance, is completely free for those who are members in this channel. Or people who are not members of the channel will then have to pay a token to get it. But trust me, this software is going to change the game for your business. I'll encourage you to get it. It's going to be a really game changer for your business. Thank you for staying with us. Do have a lovely day. Bye.